Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Well, hello everyone. Well, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to the new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in. All right, so I thought we'd get back on this Tohatsu. Well, you never know when something's just going to jump up. And surprise you. Do you remember that guy there? Look how bad that thing is. And the reason why I wanted to go ahead and get on this when I'm in Jones in a little bit is it's just about 
to the parent where if I don't do something, it's gonna be part. Wellio Tahatsu Gesundheit is coming along after I cleaned it up. I gave it a little a little paint. Just whatever I had on the shelf. That's charcoal gray, it said. Match is good enough and compared to what we started with.
Okay, it's time for my hack tip of the day. You see when you take out these little rubber plugs here to get this air silencer off. I've done this hack on many Yamahas. Um, I think I've even done it on some of the smaller OMCs that are similarly set up like this. But behind these rubber plugs that holds this to the carburetor are two screws. They will typically be Phillips head screws. And taking them out, if you drop them, they're just going to drop down into um, the bottom of this plastic air cylinder. But when you're going back up with them a lot of times, if you drop them, they'll drop into that. But you then have to worry about all this linkage here. Now you got to take it all, all, lift it up out of there, work with the throttle, because that's your choke. So that can become very bothersome. So what I do, and what the hack is, is I replace them with a Allen head bolt and what you can do if you need to and it don't work too good with a Phillips head screw but what you can do is put a little Vaseline if you need to in the Allen head Just put your little Vaseline on there and stick it in there if you feel it most of the time they'll feel they're tight enough that they're going to be fine. All right, so then you can come in here, fill around for the hole, and put those in a lot easier. And you say, yeah, but then you got to try and remember what size Allen head it is, and you're not going to remember that, you know. And then you ain't going to have one out there on the boat if, if, if it floods out or whatnot. You're right. That's why then I melt a hole and I take that Allen wrench and I put it right there. That way it's always there, it's always with me, and it's always ready to take out those plugs. And you're not going to drop them back down in there and have to mess with that. That's one more hack from the Kodiak. Well, the surprise turned out to be very good. This is a beautiful, and in my opinion, well-made vintage, is what I will call it, Tahatsu Kipper. Um, there are a few things about this motor that I am really impressed with, and um, may even try to copy, emulate, whatever the term is. Um, mostly being the throttle mechanism, the tiller and the throttle. It is a very simple design. I think it could be copied and I have more than one candidate out there that could use something like this. It's a mechanical throttle, no cables in the mix. Um, it does not look complicated at all and I would say it is definitely one of the better I have seen. And I will point it out to you. Okay, I got the tiller handle off. It was held on there on each side by these shouldered, uh, non-threaded bolts. And then the threads only, well, not even half the length. So one on each side, um, threads right into the handle. And this part of the tiller handle is nice and free. But the part that went to the actual power head um, is just almost a solid chunk of rust. 
and this bushing in here well actually it's more than a it's a combination of a bushing slant bar the knuckle itself and uh, don't want to damage that so what I'm going to do I'm not sure if this will fit let me check Wait. I don't know if there's a e-clip c-clip but that kind of fits in there so I'm going to Get my tap it hammer here. Oh yeah, it's coming up. Are you? Oh, I dropped it. Ugh. So everything's just all stuck, dude. Yeah, you're in there. See this knuckle right here coming in from behind. Well, someday I'm gonna be able to hold on to it. Well, that's as much as I'm going to get with that thing. So, let's see what else we can tap with. I don't want to crack that plastic. So, let me get a long punch with a flat tip. You know, something like that. You know, you know. We can't finish tapping that out of there. There it is. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. So we'll clean up that hole. Get that back in. I will take this, which is what actually advances the mag plate through linkage. I'll show you that in a little bit. And clean this up on my coarse wire wheel, bench coarse wire wheel. And uh, then I'll give it a coat of paint. Let that dry and we'll put all this part back together. So here's the rod coming in this rod right here it comes in from the actual tiller handle you can see it right here see how that turns so this is just a rod that fits in a square um, nylon knuckle bushing um, and it just sits in there and it's held in there from the pressure of the other nylon bushing. So there's two nylon bushings. And they line, they have the, the uh, wide tooth in there just like an OMC so that it can fold down. And then they're held by two real nice beefy nuts here that are shouldered um, and have the threads toward the inside of the bolt. Um, and as big as they are, it would be hard for them to corrode in there and not be able to get out. All right, so then it comes in and makes, uh, it's held right here by two pieces of nylon. And this would be easy to make out of just drilling a hole in the bottom of the pan and putting like a copper, a piece of copper pipe spacer or an aluminum spacer, um, or even stacked nuts. And then you could easily make this out of a, like a piece of cutting board, that white cutting board material. You could easily drill a hole and then saw through it. That would be easy to make. Then it comes down here and it just bends at a 90, has a flat with a hole in it. All right, and then you've got this upper part that you would need some kind of bossing to thread in to um, a lot of outboards have that kind of stuff in and around this area of the exhaust port and so forth and then this really is just i mean an l this bottom part ain't even hooked enough so that wouldn't need from here down this way from here down you would need them all you would need is an L bracket really and uh, a nylon bushing and uh, a nylock nut and I do like the way this one is made out of brass so are these pieces that's brass brass but these are 
fairly standard on many outboards and can be bought uh, at any good marine supply or taken off the ends of cables and so forth. But uh, this doesn't look like, this whole system doesn't look like it would be that hard to copy. And if you see it's hooked to the mag plate here, and you could do this several ways. This would, I mean, you could literally put a bolt and a nut and then another nylock on top and leave a little space in there. And then it comes over and operates your cam. I'm going to lift you up and come over here. It operates the cam just like on a nine point, well, like almost every outboard. As the mag plate rotates, there's a cam device here that moves your linkage to your carb. Very straightforward and simple. Um, I really like this design as far as a mechanical setup for uh, advancing your your timing throttle and link and all. It's quite simple. And this was all froze and stuck when I first started this thing and it ended up being this nylon knuckle right... which one was it? Right there. No, right here. I tapped it out here. You remember I tapped it out. Pop, and cleaned it all up, put it back in, and now it's Lucy, 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 Lucy. Now, speaking of the brass, nice little things such as, see this brass here? And I haven't even shined that one up yet. It's brass. See this spacer down here for the, uh, for the coil? That's all brass. And so, in keeping with that, I put the brass OMC. Um, I know it's a little dark in here, but I put a big brass nut there. And then this brass spacer here. Then the OMC brass connector. And I can still get to my choke with that there. And so, I like the brass. I'll get those all cleaned up and ready for the smoker. You know they're going to be good. Likes me some smoked salmon. Yes, I do. Now, do you like that smoked salmon there, folks? Beautiful. Fresh right out that ocean. Wonderful. Smoked salmon. Yummy! Well, it's getting a little late. But I just wanted to film that sunset. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that pretty up there? Gorgeous. Beautiful sunset. Getting redder by the minute. Just beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, looks like that's going to be a wrap on the old Tatsu 18. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. You understand. So, turned out uh, this little kicker right here was worth 
putting a little effort into. Um, came out pretty nice. As they say over across the pond, she brushed up right nice. Maybe they don't say that over I just made that up. I think I saw it somewhere. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, she brushed up right nice. And a uh, little bit of ee, 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 elbow grease and soap and air and whatever else it took. And uh, now we are not done with this little 18. If you noticed in the three vids, there was no lower unit draining and no water pump impeller changing. Because I had to order, I had to find, and then order an impeller for it. And I thought, I'll just take care of that lower unit while I got it dropped off and getting that new impeller in there. Because you know, if you look at this outboard, right when we started on it, and you look at it now, you know that impeller is toast. It seems to pump water very well, and it runs cool. I did, uh, after running in it for five minutes or so, put my heat gun on it, and it, it's running fine, cool, but you would not put out putting this little outboard to work without getting a new impeller in there because it amazes me it, it actually pumps water, but it does. And I've looked under here, I do not see a telltale hole anywhere. It has the two blubber holes that shoot water out and that's the way it's designed. Could I put a telltale on it? Absolutely, piece of cake, nothing to it. Because this 18 really is built just like well, not just like, but very similar to the OMC 18s. It has the thermostat right up on the, uh, the top there, so it'd be easy to drill tap that and put a telltale in it. I probably won't. I'm going to leave it just like it is, um, but I will get a new impeller in there, that's for sure. So, we got her done. That's going to be a wrap on this one. And I want to thank you for watching. One more hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.